In this video, we're going to start looking at percent composition. Percent composition is a way that we describe the composition of a compound by mass. So what we're looking at is the, the percent of each element that is in the compound. And it's actually really useful information if you want to know what something is made of if you're investigating something like a, a forensic scientist or something like that. You can get a lot of information by determining the percent composition. And so what we want to do is give the individual percentage by mass of each element in a compound. And remember, you've probably seen this in math before, but percentage is always the part we're interested in over the whole thing, and then we multiply by 100. So if a compound has oxygen in it, we can figure out the percent oxygen in a compound, or uh, the percent calcium, or something like that. And to find that percentage, we just look at that part that we care about over the whole thing. Now, when you get a problem, well, first let me show you a cartoon. So hopefully you get this, but if not, ask me about it in class. All right, so let's just start off with something simple. We'll calculate the percent composition of water. So we want to know the percent by mass of each of the elements in water. And hopefully you remember the formula for water, which is H2O. And so we want, want initially to figure out the percentage of hydrogen and the percentage of carbon. So the percent of hydrogen is going to be the molar mass of hydrogen over the molar mass of our water, so whatever our compound is, and then times 100. All right? And then the same thing for our oxygen, be the molar mass of oxygen over the molar mass of water. Sorry, that got a little scribbly there. And then times 100. All right, so our molar mass of water, hopefully you guys remember that to do the molar mass, we know that for hydrogen, we've got 2 times 1.008, so 2.016. And it's really useful to write this step down. You'll see why in a minute. And then with oxygen, it's 1 times 16, so it's going to be 16.00. When we add that up, it's 18.016. All right, so our molar mass of hydrogen, it's not the molar mass of one hydrogen. It's the molar mass of all the hydrogens in the compound. We've already done that step, so it's just going to be 2.016 and then divide it by our molar mass of water, which is 18.016. And then we're going to multiply that by 100. And when you do that, you end up with 11.19%. And your sig figs in your answer come from the sig figs in your problem. There aren't really any in your actual problem, but you can see that there are four sig figs in the molar masses that we're using up here. So that, those would be the place that we base our sig figs from. So for our molar mass of oxygen, there's one oxygen, so we use this 16. And we divide again by that molar mass of water, 18.016, and multiply by 100. And when you put that in your calculator, hopefully you got 88.81%. So when you add those ones up, uh, ideally they should be 100%. Now because of sig figs, that won't always be the case. In this case it is. But if you add up these percentages in a percent composition and they are not extremely close to 100%, you need to go back and check your math. Let's go through one more quick example. Okay, so let's look at another example. This is asking us to calculate the percent composition of a compound called R22. That's the trade name of chlorodifluoromethane, or CHF2Cl, the refrigerant used in home air conditioners. If you've ever heard of Freon, this is a compound that is known as Freon. So let's go ahead and set this up. Remember that for percent composition, we just want the percent of each element in the compound by mass. 
So the first step is to calculate our molar mass. So we've got carbon, hydrogen, fluorine, and chlorine. So with carbon, we've got one, and it has a molar mass of 12.01. I'm gonna have to squeeze a little bit here. Hydrogen, there's one hydrogen, and 1.008 is its molar mass. Fluorine, you've got two fluorines, and those are 19.00. So that gives you a total of 38. And then chlorine, you've got one, and that's 35.45. Sorry, that's a little squeezed up in there. But when you add that up, that gives you 86.468 grams per mole. So if we had one mole of this R22 chlorodifluoromethane, that would have a mass of 86.468 grams. So now in order to do our percent carbon, we're just going to take our mass of carbon from up here, and we're going to divide by our mass of our compound. So 86.468 grams of CHF2Cl. And then we're going to take that answer and we're going to multiply it by 100. And what I got, with, remember we've got four sig figs in our problem, so that's going to give us 13.89%. See if you can do the hydrogen, fluorine, and chlorine. Go ahead and pause the video, and then check your answers. That way you can kind of skip ahead. And if you have any questions, you know, you can always ask me in class. All right, so percent hydrogen is going to be 1.008 grams of hydrogen divided by 86.468 grams of CHF2Cl. Don't forget to multiply by 100, and don't forget that unit, okay? So that's going to be 1.166% hydrogen. Again, don't forget, oh, I put, forgot to put the carbon there. Don't forget the uh, percent, because that's your unit. And then for our percent fluorine, we're going to use our mass of fluorine from our compound, so not just the molar mass of one fluorine, but there are two there. So we're going to use 38.00 grams of fluorine, and that's going to be divided by our same molar mass there, 86.468 grams of CHF2Cl. We're going to multiply by 100, and that gives us 43.95% fluorine. I'm going to come over here to do chlorine because I don't think it'll fit. So percent chlorine is going to be 35.45 grams of chlorine. I'm going to divide that by our same molar mass. So you can see these are not terribly difficult. And hopefully you're getting the hang of these pretty well. And then we want to multiply by 100. So when I punch that in, I get 41.00% chlorine. Now this is one of these because you can see that we've got three decimal places here and the rest of our numbers have two. It won't add up to give you exactly 100%, but it is extremely close. So make sure you ask me about this in class. If you have any questions, I'll see you then.